just decided to do a short video here as I've stopped to try and make us a little bit of food because we've been carrying around too much food stuff again. That's one of the things we have to keep trying to learn with this travelling thing. It's a, it's kind of a work in progress learning how to do this stuff in the best way really. Because we choose to eat raw it's a little bit more difficult than it is for a lot of people travelling because you know like especially in a lot of the cheaper countries you know like it's very cheap to go into cafes you know so it is tempting to go in and just get chips or a sandwich or whatever but we can't really get away with eating those things if we want to stay awake so we end up having to buy fruit and veg which then weighs a bloody ton to walk around with so it's trying to keep the general weight low isn't it? yeah, yeah. it's worth that isn't it the, the base base level low yeah please excuse me throwing bits of um onion and whatever into the nature i don't mind throwing organic things away just into nature like that because i know that the little people the creepy crawlies and everything can get some goodness from it it actually feels quite good really it's the plastic that feels rubbish you know well, that's why we've got this horrible ganky thing down here that's got all the rubbish in that i definitely don't want to leave out in nature we do try and yeah. respect where we're at as best we can so and this is what what i was wanting to say about when we're out i don't know if you can hear me from there hopefully like we feel uh, everything more like say you know the stuff that's going on in the world like the traffic can feel more overwhelming overwhelming and everything and you start to realize oh my god like this is a noisy bugger of a world you know like we're yeah. crazy we're and that we wouldn't be doing it like all of these noises are so unnatural and i do think that's why it grates on us all i it think most people are too numbed out to actually realize oh, yeah. how much it affects them but yeah, it grates on you on an everyday <laughs> everyday life. You know, people are working in London and the capital cities of the world who have got s stressful jobs. Oh, yeah. It's no wonder they're uh, eating all the time to numb it out. You or know, or drinking, or taking drugs, or living off caffeine, or whatever it but is. The, the, yeah, the denial is so big that we have to pretend that we don't have an issue with these things. You know, <laughs> but it's too difficult for us to accept that we struggle in life or that. You know, we feel overwhelmed by it, blah, blah, blah. When he says we, is on about we in general, like all the people, not just me and him. Yeah. Yeah, humanity. I was going to say, I've got this little solar panel here. Not sure if I've got a link to it anymore, but this, uh, I'm hoping it lasts, because you can see there, it's sort of, you can only handle a certain amount of bends, probably. But they probably tested them. But it's about 10 watts or something, and pretty light, maybe about 2 200 grams. Yeah. About, about really 200 nice. grams. And uh, yeah, we're going to use that to keep this phone charged when we've done the video. <laughs> <laughs> we were carrying around quite a lot of things like onions, carrots, um, peppers, olives, bits and pieces like that at the moment, and lettuce that we need to get used up. So we, we're trying to sort of slowly hitch our way from Varna through to Sofia because we've got to leave from Sofia Airport in about a week's time. So we're just like taking our time heading over really. But all the time we're aware of like the weight that we're carrying and wanting to streamline things. At some point um, when we're set up for the night in the we'll do a video about the kit that we've got because I'm really pleased with a lot of it that we've got because we've been wanting to try and get lighter and lighter all the time as you do if you're carrying stuff on your back or around your waist as I tend to prefer I think like what led us to this place was partly due to that we met each other and we did some healing work and from what I've understood it's like as you heal things that you've gone through in this life that have weighed you down, because we want to lift ourselves up, you know, and you want to be happy in life, you know, you don't want to be weighed down by all your problems and depressions and all these things. 
Well, it's like when they're unresolved, that's the things that lead to all the addictions, like, you know, not just drugs, obviously, you know, because we feel that most people are quite deeply addicted to different foods as well, because the foods are very numbing. So if you don't do the healing work, you tend to have issues with other things going on. So mm. go on, carry on. Yeah, so we, we started to heal those things, and then it's like layers of the onion, you know, and then we started to get to the core and and learning to help each other and uh, it seems like ancestral memories start to come up after a certain amount of time uh, ancestral memories come up or you connect with your genes or just memory that seems beyond this life something that goes back a lot further you know and it's there's a real like calling your soul's wisdom and understanding yeah, and its it's memory it. about the different incarnations that you've had when we lived more closely with the earth and we weren't so caught in and lost yeah, in it. what's going on no it's right just watching the car up there <laughs> it um, kind of sorry go on yeah so uh, so we're feeling it more, you know, we're feeling, oh my God, like the world around us is completely insane and we know a different reality, we know a, a, and a not, it's not a dream world, it's what the world should be like, you know. A memory of what it was like, how far things went so far off the path again. So uh, there's millions of distractions in the normal world, things that shouldn't really be there, you know. So it depends what kind of life you want to live. If you're happy just staying in the system and you just want the goodies that it brings and you don't have a soul calling that you're aware of, you know, and you don't feel like you're unhappy with the way the system is, then, you know. But for me, like, being out here feels really, really good. And I'm starting to feel real and remember things that matter to me, you know, and remember that humanity is very, very much more powerful than we've been yeah. Remember. The thing is as well, often people only make like big life decisions like the ones that we've made after something's happened, you know, after Yeah, the, things have got too hard. You know, that, like yeah. sometimes it can be if people have overworked, you know, they've spent too much time chasing money or women or men yeah. or cars or material things and you know, they might lose a family member and it might make them reassess what is actually important in their life, what they want to experience while they're here, what's important to them to experience. A lot of us stay stuck in situations that don't really feel right, that we feel like we've just got to, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure to stay within the, system, the normal yeah. stuff, you know, the things that people are all normally doing whereas i feel like we should be living off the land and being closer to nature you know especially those of us who feel that we have nowhere that we fit in i mean we don't fit in because we're living out of touch with life you know yeah that's why we feel great out here because this is life you know this is it's like it isn't easy doing what we're doing because the so-called modern world has progressed so much you know actually finding bits of unspoiled nature where you can camp up or finding wild food is really difficult so we end up having to live kind of on the the outskirts of this world because you know we're still needing access to get food you know fruit and veg and things whereas really it should be growing all around us which it's not too bad here, you know, we can, we've got quite a few wild plums that we found yesterday which are really nice, they're lovely and it feels so much better to take something from the tree and be thankful for it than just going into a shop and handing over money, you know, it feels like it's a much more whole and harmonic transaction to, you know, go to the tree and be thankful for what's there and then to throw the seed on the ground so that it does get the chance to germinate, which is why the tree's doing it, obviously. Yeah, we're totally out of touch with our wisdom. But the wisdom is like a, it's a part of us. It's like a beingness. It's like a, it's like a being. It's like a whole, as if we're living life normally every day with a massive part of our psyche or, or who we are isn't there. We're living numb, empty lives, a lot of people. Yeah. 
and when you get back out here if you're lucky <laughs> and you've done whatever work you need to do to get more in tune with yourself it's like I felt it again like as you were saying that you know I felt that feeling of belonging here and and really feeling in tune and aware almost like an animal that senses yes. things out and you can feel the that. wind and the, the earth and it's a different mode of living and being you know it is like the animal aspects of us because those parts of us are very unhappy in the system and living of the jobs the way that we do you know parts of us know that it's very unnatural to be doing these things like when we dropped my mum off at the airport yesterday and we'd gone into a cafe with her <coughs> excuse me and um, before she went and like I just looked through the window and you know like in the garden bit of it there was a guy like sat there drinking his coffee smoking his cigarette on his mobile phone dressed in his suit and you know it just it just brought it home to me really how alien this life is to the truth of us you know because you know we are like higher apes you know we're we're animals we don't like to believe that we're animals because you know, the idea is if it's a lesser thing you know yeah instead of actually understanding the amount of wisdom there is in our animal nature you know when we cut ourselves off from it we're cutting ourselves off from our instinct and our intuition and our own guidance systems i was just saying seeing like three lorries go by you know it's like we're we're upset at another lorry yeah. We're upset about like what's happening to the Amazon rainforest and all that, but we don't realise that what we've it's actually done to Europe, Europe, what we've done to America, what we've done, you know, all over the place. Like, just because these lorries aren't doing, you know, carrying stuff that's going to cut down logs and, and stuff, they're still doing stuff which is very damaging to the planet, you know. And uh, we don't need to be doing a lot of this stuff, you know. Our, our brains are not right. I think that's one of the main things as well. Yeah. main understandings that we need to get out there is that humanity is not working right in the brain like we yeah. we're not well it's damaged you know our thinking patterns we think things are right or, or, or good idea to do that it's are actually quite of, insane like, you know our basic needs as well you know what our needs actually are you know our needs aren't that we've got to have our gym membership and we've got to make sure we've got you know like a car from the last two or three years or all of these things like our our needs aren't really what we've been led to believe that they are i'll just check that it's actually working 